insane. Suspense was telling us that there was actually nothing here before when he actually came the first time. Now, it's like a drug den in here. We gotta get out of here before they get back. This is insane. Today we visited an abandoned card factory. This company was founded in 1867. They recruited a young, talented man who would output four folds and cut labor costs by 66%. This company would become so huge it would actually branch out into different smaller companies. In 1881, this company began printing four brands, Tigers, Sportsman, Army and Navy, and Congress. Eventually, they began printing bicycle cards, which would become their most popular line in 1885. It's not clear what happened to this abandoned card factory. Nowadays, urban explorers from all over the world travel to see this place. The goal is to find and capture things that are left inside, frozen in time. I'm assuming this floor is used maybe for like docking or stuff like that because I can see elevators here. Who knows what else they did in this room? It's a huge, vast, empty room. All right, folks, I was correct. This is probably where the trucks came and they just loaded up the cards and all the printings. I have no idea what's on this floor. Seems like a few administrative offices. Just a, looks very industrial, to be honest with you guys. See, look, I was right. Shipping and human resources is actually on this side, too. Oh, damn. The lights are actually on. It's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting to see, like, a... <laughs> Something like this. Look at all the old school telephones, the old school keyboards. For whatever reason, they put it all in one car. I could probably burn those. They have no more use anymore. Too old. Take a look at this, folks. It's a safe. The United States Playing Card Company. Cute little picture on there. Let's see what's inside. Just what I expected. Absolutely nothing. This place is all gutted out. I want this adventure to be like me showing you guys a story. Kind of like going first floor, second floor, third floor. If there's nothing on it, one of the floors, I'll definitely tell you. But who knows? I might just skip a little bit and show you guys if I find anything cool. The floor is actually decaying. I actually hate floors like this because they feel all spongy. And they almost feel like you're gonna fall right through the floor. That's actually a really cool hallway to get a good Instagram shot. Kind of like how the other floor was, like the first floor. It seems like another loading area. Who knows? Maybe they've loaded stuff on this floor, sent it back to downstairs on the first floor. But that's basically what it's looking like. I hear noises. Guys, it's so loud. Oh, look at these guys. I just caught up with them. <laughs> I was on that floor all by myself trying to figure out what's up there. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? We met up with Danny too. Hey. There we go. Where's, where's the gang? Out of breath now? Yeah, dude. You're getting fat, man. Yo, everyone's over here. Dude, we're all squatted up. It's the coolest thing ever. Dude, I was literally Jose. down there by myself. Uh, Didn't know what I was doing. There's also yeah, a bank vault, here. and then there's a postal vault. The postal vault's all lit up, and it's all gold. Oh, in this man. building, what? Yeah, in this building. There's a bank vault. It's like a hole. It's like a bank for me. That's weird. Okay. This place is okay. a bank, bro. I'm gonna show y'all around for a minute. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Right, here, got the good, got oh, the good, good tour going on. Folks, so right now we're going up a clock tower, like I said earlier. Pretty cool stuff. I'm, I've never been on a clock tower before, so let's see what's up here. I actually didn't realize that they make this like money. They make one whole sheet and they just cut it up. <laughs> Honestly, I thought they all separated it. All right, folks, headed up to the clock tower. Oh man! All right, so this is probably the third floor of this clock tower. Oh my god, it's just an empty room and even more stairs. We gotta go up more. Folks, this is the main event. The reason that we climb this whole tower. There's actually something inside. Let me show you guys. Look at this thing. Unfortunately, the chains are all broken, so we obviously can't move it. But this is like something out of like a steampunk movie. It's still kind of move this stuff. I know, right? That's pretty dope. Dude, whatever you're turning.
folks, take a look at this. We found more phones. So not only did I find those phones downstairs, but it's almost like a phone graveyard. All right, explorers, so we're about to head inside a bank vault. Pretty cool stuff. I have no idea what's inside of it. Let's go check it out. All right, so I found a, I found a bank vault earlier before. Oh, snap. Is this where they keep gold or something? No, this is Letters. Good. <laughs> Old pension, look at this. Old pension validation cards. What? Bunch of insurance stuff in here. What else? What else? What else? All right, folks. So we got old pension validation cards in here. <laughs> All emptied out already, though. And over here, they probably did the payroll, as you can see. Bunch of punching stamps, punch out stamps. This room is sick. Guys, you won't even imagine it. It's all, we just found something crazy. It's like somebody lives in here. Let me show you guys. Somebody's uh, definitely been staying in here. Yeah. Wait, so this wasn't here either? This this has never been here. This room was completely empty. So somebody lives in this abandoned place. That's well, wait, crazy. How, how, why did they set up all this? Do they have power? Uh, it looks like they're hey. Look at this. There's a crack. Somebody definitely was living in here. Or so still lives in here. Thinking, to this day. I'm thinking that it's either that, like someone's, you know, chilling here. But I actually think it's just some, some <sighs> people on Instagram shot different. Yeah, that's crazy. It's gotta be maybe like a couple. It's got. It's like guys and girls probably living here because I see makeup. There a bike here. This is a drug den. Yeah, dude. You don't do drugs in here. Oh. <laughs> this is a drug den. This is a drug den. Oh my god. They crack in here and then they fucking hang out. They fuck. Bro, this is insane. Imagine this guy comes back, <laughs> like right now. Luckily, we're deep. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is nasty, but like. It's insane. They have old, old TV. So all this. There. <laughs> Probably. Probably sits there for the rest of his life, living out some darkness that he's stuck inside. Damn, Danny! <laughs> what the hell? So this kid came down here, and now we have to get him. I guess these tunnels are like vast. If he hasn't been back, and like. Look at that. It's just an endless tunnel, dude. You want me to keep going? I haven't been a fan of tunnels in a very long time. I haven't been in a tunnel in a very long time, but we gotta find this guy, like, right now. Max? Oh, crap. All I hear is freaking noises. Max? Max? I see lights down there. He's probably, he's right there. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay there, I'm gonna try to get there for that Folks, you won't even imagine it. Take a look at these calendars. They're literally everywhere, but they literally show you each date, each time of what happened historically. So look at that. 1867, Russell Morgan and Company established. And you got stuff like 1892, B playing cards acquired from Consolidation Dory. That's pretty cool. I wish I could take one of these, but we don't take stuff from here, so. All right, folks, so we came, we saw, we explored. Pretty cool spot. One of the biggest industries to make freaking any type of playing cards. It's pretty cool. We saw the clock tower, we saw the tunnels, we saw a bunch of stuff. This place is so awesome. 
And uh, hey, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for taking time out of your day. And I got Instagram, follow that, at Exploring with Danny. Thanks, guys. Peace.